Theme song. Oh look, it's like Secret of Mana, like not the new one because fuck that game. <laughs> and it's Gay Baby. <laughs> gay Baby. Hi. So Aaron, how have you been celebrating Autism Awareness Month? Is it Autism Awareness Month? You aren't aware of that? No. That's weird because I was, ah. you know, because there was a guy wandering around the mall just walking up to people and going, Hello, are you aware of me? I don't think he really understood the whole point no. of the thing. That is one thing that I've been using the word celebrate for it an awful lot, and I'm really trying to get that to sort of just sort of slip into people. Yeah. Like the idea that it's like, you know, it's something we should not. be celebrating. We celebrate Easter, why can't we celebrate Autism Yeah, well that's how you know it's Autism Awareness Month is like Coles already have the, you know, Autism Awareness Month decorations out. You know, did you buy your Autism Awareness Month cube? They've got the festive pinatas, which are actually ground-based pinatas. Yeah. Well, again, you know, you celebrate Autism Awareness Month with the Autism Awareness pewter cube that you hide on in the middle of your nearest table. Because why would you want to hide something you want people to find, Aaron? That doesn't make sense. You just put it somewhere that is clearly visible. Easter doesn't make sense. You can't just paint nice eggs and make them all cool and then put them somewhere I can't find them and say, find them. If you want me to find them, put them on the table. Mm. Then I, fi I find them. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Baptism to you. <laughs> Baptism <laughs> to you. But like, I love... Cause it's it's like, the you know, the, the best thing about these things is like well-meaning people talking about shit. And like, one of my favorites is like, like, you know, there's people talking about autism on like, ABC News. And there's just some great quotes from that. Like, you know, this guy talking about, um, you know, autism is when we look at autism, everyone thinks of the basic Sheldon Cooper or Sherlock Holmes. I mean, that's not what I fucking think of. Nah, I mean, yeah. And I think, like, really, if you want to really insult someone with autism, think Sheldon Cooper. Yeah. I think that's... Um, when there is a wide, vast variety of people out there with different traits and abilities... Are they like mutants? I know, like, I don't think you should use the word abilities exactly. <laughs> like that. Because if you put a pause before it, traits and abilities, abilities, it sounds magical. Like, even then, like, abilities is... Scarcely something I'd use when referring to like an athlete, you know, like abilities Like what? Well, he can draw a city scene once. Oh, that's amazing. What else could he do? Not feed himself Put his underwear on backwards. Yeah, it just doesn't bother. I put my underwear on backwards though. Well, the other great thing about like, you know, why you know, why are there more people being diagnosed with autism? Is it because we've all gotten rid of polio? No, it's because we've broadened the spectrum, you know? Because now, you know, they used to diagnose it with, like, tests and shit. Now, at school, you just sit, sat down to play a game of Duck Duck Autism. <laughs> just, and then there you go! Like, that's, you know, this is my problem duck, with, like, because... Duck Duck, duck Autism! autism. Because, like, you know, you take... Imagine calling the common cold mild AIDS. Because the thing that's going to stick in the mind, then, is the word AIDS. Yeah. You know, because AIDS is a severe thing. If you call a cold, even if it turned out that they had, like, some weird relationship. Like, if they were the same virus somehow, but, like, just AIDS was, like, the angrier version of it, right? Like, and so technically it might be correct to call, like, in my fucking hypothetical mm. here, fucking autism, fucking, to call the cold mild AIDS. You're still creating room for a lot of misinterpretation and trouble if you refer to something very, very harmless like the cold as AIDS. And that's the problem with, like, autism now, which covers everything from... Basically a fucking robot that can draw cities and talk in music, but, you know, can't do anything else. And, you know, people who are just a bit bad at social cue reading. Yeah. Which is also, like, again, like, there are just loads of people who are bad at social cue reading, reading for non-autistic reasons. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, how do you pick them out? And again, it's like, you know, this is the issue with the spectrum, you know? Like, there are people who are like, oh, I'm autistic. It's like, you didn't know. No. So it's like, why would I? Why would, you know, you don't need to tell me. Like... You know, I don't think it's like, again, it's, it's covering these really benign manifestations of it, if indeed it is a manifestation. Rabbi gets whacked. So this is the story of a young boy who falls down a waterfall, touches a magic sword, and then an old man talks to him. Um, uh, yeah. You know, nice try, old man. I've fallen for that, that trick before. Yeah. Like, nowadays they just use candy and vans. Yeah. But like, uh, no, like, because in good, people, you know, couldn't afford vans. So they just hide in creeks with sticks and go, Oh boy, come here! <laughs> and, you know, they... Like, they would take you on an adventure of self-discovery, but it was never... The things you discovered weren't good. Oh god, no. Um... You might get a, a finger or two up in the bumhole as well. Yeah... Yeah... I mean, like, you know, again, like, I... 
Nobody I went to school with was overtly molested. I suspect there were some who were. Like, it, like, what? No. you fucking left Dude, behind treasure. It auto fucking pulls you out of the screen when you're oh, close shit. to it. Now my treasure's gone. The rabbites, they took it. Like, Hello, it are you aware of me? What? Autism awareness. Autism rabbite. Is a rabbi like a rabbi? Yeah, they're, 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 they're Jewish rabbits. They're, they're okay to eat because they chew the cud. Can someone mod these into mini little rabbis? <laughs> Just bouncing around. Uh, I'm willing to bet that there's already a, like, a wildly anti-Semitic secretive mana out there <laughs> just like how there are nazi furries i bet there's also just like fucking you know just i love seeing the way like sort of nazism cross pollinates with other fandoms weirdly secret of oive well mana was like it was what fed the jews when they didn't have food ah. in you know the big book of accurate and sensibly recorded history called the, you know, the, well i mean I, it's not real it's the talmud as, See, the Christians, as the Christians then came along and called the, the, the First Testament. Religious have many plights, you know. They they had to cross the desert for years and yeah. stuff. In Australia, we have a different plight. It's trying to get alcohol on fucking Good Friday. Um, <sighs> that is a funny one. Because like, during, like, Easter period, we have a we have Good Friday, Saturday, then Easter Sunday, and then Easter Monday. So these are three periods of time where just nothing's open. And, like, it's a hard law, too. Yeah. Like, it's not like just, oh, yeah, we'll just won't. It's like you're legally not allowed to sell booze unless you're, like, a restaurant. Like, the restaurants had to fight for that, too, if memory serves. Like, there's, there's, on Christmas Day, like, probably the most important holiday, like, of the year. Which you'd think, yeah, like. There's more stuff open. Yeah. There's, like, three times as much stuff open. Well, I mean, you know, the secularists took over Christmas and now it's about shopping! Well, can we make fucking Easter about shopping and then I can uh, get some fucking Well, groceries. I mean, it's already about hiding your autism cube. The mm. cube is, is a nice shape. See, it's not like an egg. An egg's a weird shape. A cube is a shape that makes sense and you hide the cube in a place where I can locate it, which cuts down on the amount of wasted time I spend walking around a garden. If I wanted to walk around a garden, I'd just walk around a garden. I don't need to be told to walk around a garden to find weird wrong shaped eggs. They're the wrong color too, Aaron. Like nothing in nature produces eggs of that sort of distinct patterning. The That's why you use a cube. autistic caribou. <laughs> Look at this dude's dance. I love that dude's dance. <laughs> They're just fucking rocking out, man. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> you ever walk into a bar when there's nobody in it and the person's just bopping along to the music? Yes. That is, it is one of my little favorites. Just look, eye contact, and like me being like just dead face eye contact. So it's like, I saw you doing that. Yeah. The best is if you can sneak in without them noticing. <laughs> I want, oh no, yeah, that's... I have very light footfalls. I don't pay attention to that, I clonk about. What have you done? How can you pull out the mana sword? Yeah, we hid this, you know, magical sword just off in the forest where anyone could wander over and find it, but how dare you remove it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I hid thousand dollars over there in that bush. You touched our magic you thousand it. dollars. Yeah. That's the bush grand. It's for the little people. <laughs> you took it away. Like this dude's a cunt. Like he just starts like, he just starts wailing on you. Not nearly. Yeah. I'd stab him with my yeah. new fucking bush thousand. I have a sword. I what forgot this was how it do? started. Like the dicks and they kick you out of the village. And then yeah. And I mean really like, ah. get absolutely fucked. Now fuck you, fat face. You go fight it. You go fight fucking upper body day prawn. In the butt. That thing looks like fucking, you know, Mantis Hulk Hogan. You're not allowed to have fucking magic. That's unfair. Yeah, I think that's a bit weak at this juncture. It's alright, you can't die. Oh yeah, that's right, the dude just jumps yeah, down. Yeah, that it just heals you. Oh, they took me out of everything after I was caught saying the N-word. <laughs> Brother. Brother. I mean, meanwhile, there is a professional wrestler called the Nigger Taker. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's a black guy, though. Oh. If it were a white dude in blackface, that'd probably be a bit of an issue, but... <laughs> Fuck it. And I mean, again, like... You know, like, I, I, there, there has to at least be an exemption for titles of things. Like, because Death Grips have an album, like, I think it's not even out yet, just called Niggas on the Moon. And, again, this is the name of the fucking thing. Where niggas on the moon. <laughs> they still managed to get shot by police up there. It's yeah. just like, cops have just been firing wildly <laughs> into the sky. <laughs> the bullets have reached escape velocity. 
They'll, they'll be with you presently, nigga, moon niggas. Because, <laughs> okay. again, it's like, that's the goddamn title of the fucking goddamn album. Mm. And again, it's like, you know, with niggas with attitude. Like, they're very, it's very specifically not African Americans with attitude. And I think calling them African Americans with attitude would be an almost condescending level of missing the point. Yeah. I remember one time I was at a bar, and it was a bar run by white hipsters, which is nice because they play lots of Wu Tang. <laughs> um, white hipsters play Wu Tang? Yeah. Wow. It's like the thing they a man bun does to claw back a degree of masculinity. Right. Like it's something they play in between, like acoustic men crying. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, dude, speaking of fucking crying men, did you see the cricket dudes crying lately? Cause like two oh, yeah, cricket cause dudes cheated, yeah, yeah. yeah, which is fucking weak. How and then they cheat like what? what are they okay, doing? like because with cricket for foreign listeners, you fucking you're essentially pegging a small red rock at a cunt. Yeah, you're not allowed to just do that straight. Otherwise, that's assault. Yeah. So you got to hit the, the ground before. Yeah. So if you diddle the ball a little bit, you can give because it has like you know seams. You can give it ridges that like allow you that you can hit onto the ground right. and make the ball take off in wacky fucking directions, making it real hard to hit. And that's, it's it's one of the major things, a, a, you know, a cricket team can do to cheat is fuck with the ball. And so Australia decided to fuck with the ball. Um, and the two dudes that have been primarily caught doing it, like, had to cry. Like, and I don't, like, I, I get the whole thing about, like, you know, teasing men for crying and stuff. And, like, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of times where it's okay to cry. Like, there was that dude that lost his whole family on, like, Christmas Day to a fire, and that dude was crying. And like, that's, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. But like crying because you got caught cheating at sport is just, you know, it just, none of it looks very sincere. No, because I don't, it's not like someone held a gun up and went, do this or I'll kill your family. Yeah. Oh, it was a great tragedy. I fucking cheated. Yeah. And like, you know, because the problem is there's a mix of things that you could be crying about. Like, are you crying because you feel like you did something bad or are you crying because you got caught and you're going to, you know, be forced to fall back on your degree of nothing. Mm. And because this is all half of these mutants do these days, you know, is like just cricket. So if you can't play cricket, what good are you? You're not even like, you don't even have a fucking trade. Yeah. That was what it used to be in the old days. Like tradies would play like sports and they'd still have their trade. This, this, these people don't. So there's fucking useless cunts that can throw a ball. And now they're like, you know, fucking forbidden from doing that. But I had like, cause you know, what's the effect of punish- and I mean effective, you know, you gotta thwart these behaviours, and if the cunts are doing it when it's really bizarrely unnecessary, I mean, not like we were, like, the fucking Australian team was winning, but like, you know, still. Mm. Fucking lose with balls, you goddamn babies. And so now as fucking, you know, just eraser face mule Australians fucking sobbing on TV because they did naughty cricket. I think we should bring back the stocks. But like, you know how when Australia wins, they parade them through town and everyone chucks ticker tape at them? Yeah. We should get the two cons that did like the fucking cheating, put them in stocks, and everyone's allowed to have like tomatoes. And we have to hand the tomatoes out specifically because otherwise if people bring their own, they'll sneak cricket balls in amongst <laughs> them. And look, that's not fun because I did play Brandy with a cricket ball oh, once. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's a bad that was That was a big conversation before that decision too because we couldn't find the tennis ball. <sighs> God, I was poor growing up. I want you to consider that sentence. We couldn't find, <laughs> we the, couldn't tennis find the tennis ball. They usually come in tubes. <laughs> yeah, I know. We didn't know. We didn't even know where this tennis ball came from. Like in in the suburbs, you can just find balls like that. So we found a ball. It was like, oh, we can play Brandon. Hey. Like so, we'd found a ball. We we'd lost it again. We don't know fucking to this day. I don't know where it went. And so we had a cricket ball, and we're looking at the cricket ball, and all of us were thinking the exact same thing: of that's a rock covered in diamond, covered in ruby. It is like the cricket ball is a solid, heavy, hard, awful They're fucking, fucking awful, thing. Dude. Yeah, awful things. And so there's just a there's a full agreement. Okay, what if we just what if we limp wrist the throw a little bit? Okay, yeah. You know, we're not gonna. What are you doing? I wasn't can't remember reading. what to do. I wasn't reading what he fucking told me to do, and now I've I'm stuck. Go into the bar and talk to the guy, isn't it? That's what I thought, but he wasn't in there. Yeah. Maybe go back down the hole. Yeah, he's not there. Even in the hole. I didn't go in the hole. Try the hole. Don't you have to leave? Yeah, that's what I thought, but the guy's blocking the fucking- Oh, go back up to your house. Like, like see this can't block- Yeah, go back up to your house. Like, to where the oh, village, village elder, elder and shit was. Like, talk to that- The that village kid. smelder. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. 
Shay. Ah, uh, you fucking, you know, don't even know your mana. I don't, I don't know your mana from my Michaels. But like... Secret of Michaels. <laughs> secret of Eric Banner. That's a big secret. <laughs> it's just... The back of his head's another face. It just keeps it incredibly These hairy. These people are fucking cunts. They really are. You pulled a magic sword out of a thing and doomed the world. Get yeah. out of our village. I know. I'm we didn't, the only one with the magic sword. Bitches. I know. Like, we didn't have... We didn't put a fence around it or anything. <laughs> we didn't... You know, there's a lot of ways we could have prevented this, you know, calamity. You know, it's like in Australia, you've got to fence your pools. They yeah! Should, they have to fence their menace. Yeah! Like, Australia has to put a fence around a pool so cunts don't drown and fucking, you know, these dicks can't fence their world-ending sword. <laughs> Imagine if there was a pool where if you're like, oh, I'm gonna take a dip in that. I oh, don't go in that. That's the apocalypse pool. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah, did you even put a sign up? No. Uh, fucking, you know. Know. I know. I know. I fucking, you know. I don't know what government department to call about that, but I think somebody's got to be held responsible for these shenanigans. I don't want my world ending because some cunt didn't put up proper signage, you know. And like, really, if the if the, if it's if it's going to bring about the apocalypse, I also expect a fence. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be you know like fucking razor wire, but I think we should at least have a fence. So these cunts have got to be put in the stocks, march through town, and like have not cricket balls thrown at them because when we finally did play brandy with the cricket ball, I had one. I, I, you know, I like, I had one throw and I threw it really gently because I'm thinking, okay, look, if I, if I peg it and it hits someone, they're just going to peg it at me. Yeah. And, you know, so I, I, I did a complete like sissy throw. Like, because <laughs> eh. uh, the person I was like chasing was this fat kid from just up the road. And so it's not like I really had to like fucking go pell melt. And, you know, it hurt him. And he, you know, had a bit of a fit about it, but we all just thought he was being a pussy because he was a fatty. So... We went back and had like, you know, kind of like, okay, all right, we'll have a test a second round and see if this is viable. And then I caught one between the, the, the shoulder blades and I acknowledge that the throw was gentle. Mm. You know, this was not a malicious throw and it stung like fuck. And it was just like, yeah, this is, this was a stupid, a idea. this was a stupid idea from Go. Like, but you know, we couldn't find the tennis ball. So if we get them in the stocks paraded through town, having through thrown at them, right? Mm. So we've got a nice public embarrassment, proper public embarrassment. You know, like proper public shaming, active shaming, shame, you know, preferably, yeah, we could have like the lady with the bell follow him and shit. And I don't think we should let people spit on him. I think that's a bit much, but like fruit, you know. chuck, a, chuck a tomato at Steve Smith is, you know, he cheated. And then they get marched to the center of town and there's like a stock and I'm there in an executioner hood Fuck yes. and a loincloth and I'm just covered in baby oil. <laughs> and, um, then the stocks are laid there, and like at this point, everyone has to be dead silent. And then I, because I'm selecting, you see, they have to be dead silent because I'm choosing my the instrument of their destruction. And I'm not going to cut their heads off; it's just a paddle. But I have a variety of paddles, and you know, this one I feel for the for the for the severity of what they've done will be a very flat paddle, but with wind holes drilled into it, so I can get maximum <laughs> fucking swing. Because I want coverage and I want speed. Coverage and speed. This is like 5G. It's gonna be a 5G paddle. Oh yeah, baby. And... Power. The second I've chosen my paddle, I will hold it aloft. And this is when everybody, and the entire city will be out for this, because, you know, this is an important cultural event mm. in Brisbane. And the second I hold my paddle aloft, the entire audience can start going... <laughs> just louder and louder and louder. Because a big part of suffering is anticipation. And you want them to be dreading the inevitable paddling you want you want that fucking you know and i'll take like maybe 20 seconds you want that to feel like 20 fucking years of bare ass yeah and just me and my fucking and i mean like a retro hood like Ooh. a fucking executioner hood like the tail you know the tattered fucking thing coming down to Fuck about my yeah. chest and just loincloth and baby oil you know i'm glistening kind of like fat but you can see a lot of muscle under there so you know this is going to be a good hit and then i will step into that i will ground my back foot I will just swing for the fucking heavens. Like fucking Zeus will be impressed with the noise I get out of this guy's buttocks. Fuck yeah. Zeus and then sit up on his cloud and go, fuck yeah, Gabriel. Second the fuck slap. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. All right, yeah. Fucking olden days, man. I gotta celebrate. I gotta turn into a swan Throw and rape a chick. Bolts and some fucking things. Get some and like, swan rape. The second I paddle, the second paddle comes to butt, the entire, you know, uh, the uh, assembled city is allowed to like erupt into cheers. And. You will, you will only have to do this like twice, at most. Like you'll have to baby oil me up like maybe twice and then no one will ever do this dumb shit again because you do not want this to happen no. to you. See, I don't know why people just don't give in to our fucking totalitarian rule, like to be honest. Yeah. 
Because, I mean, we have good ideas. Fascism, absolute power, absolute responsibility. You no, know, we'd, we'd have- If I fuck up, you get to drag me through the streets and hang me from a fucking Dude, shell. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, we have, you know- We're ideas, man. We also have fiber internet, so we're better than everyone. Fiber, yeah, we have- We're ideas, man. We have, like, one of the working bits of the, you know, national broadband <laughs> network. Which, really, when you think about it, shouldn't be called that. <laughs> Just it should be ABN, just attempted broadband network. I really network. don't want to hold my, my sword up to the water seed. <laughs> it's just, it's going to be a bad time. Water seed sounds like a what a Wiccan calls an ovary. <laughs> my water seed. Yes, give me my water seed. Today you picked me up in the mall, because I realized it was easier for me to just go to the fucking further away train station and let's get picked up there. Let's go to the mall. Yeah, let's go to the mall. Today, it's called Orion. Today. Like, it's in Springfield, and it's an entire fucking suburb. Like, it has streets and shit. I think people live there. It's nuts. Probably. But I, So I'm buying a coffee at the fucking Merlot coffee place, and... <sighs> there was a moment, because I'm kind of listening to the... Because it's a long fucking line, so I'm listening to the woman behind me, because she just keeps going on about... She's not saying the line's too long, but she keeps bringing up to a friend that there's a Gloria Jean at the other end of the fucking place. Like, oh, I'll go to the Gloria Jean, it'll be better. It's like, you know, you're already in line, lady. Like, I know you're not getting out yeah. now. And then I'm ordering. And, you know, the kid serving me is, like, quite young, but I don't feel like... Like, where were we the other day when, like, a 12-year-old served us? Was that, like, McDonald's? That, that was, was today. Like... That was KFC. No, no, like... Oh, no, 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 you know, that was McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. it was, like, McDonald's. The was dude, like... he was... He was, like, a... He's probably, like, 16, but yeah. holy fuck. Super Australian. Yeah, and look 12. Yeah, kids in Australia, like, when they grow up, <laughs> they go through a period, like, when they're 15, 16, super Australian. Yeah. Like, because their voice is getting heavier, yeah. they're breaking, and they just sound so full and bogan. They either grow out of it, or Yeah, or it just, it just latches on. Yeah. But, like, fucking... The kid was one of those, except his name tag read, Hello, I'm... And the, bear in mind, this was not, like, you know, some name tags are like, Oh, yeah, it's a label maker, you've printed and stuck on that. No, this was a fucking name tag that, like, had to be made by, I like... I supposed to be in here. Uh, no, I wouldn't. That's where the Moogles and shit Yeah, live. no, they're fucking powerful. I'm not that yet. Um, hello, I'm Pickles. And... I didn't notice that about him. No, I was gonna point it out there, but I wanted to save it talking about it until we were here. And I, I really wanted to get a picture of it. Because I had my fucking phone wallet out already, because I was gonna pay. But then I'm like, ugh, oh, because I'm in that fucking position again, because, you know... I don't know why. I don't believe he was called Pickles. And the problem is, if this is some kind of workplace bullying situation, while I do, you know, appreciate and endorse workplace harassment, I don't want to be a part of it. You know, like, I feel if I, hey, Pickles, can I get a picture, you little fucking homo? Like, you know, then I'm, then I'm, I'm making it worse. Yeah. You know, I'm making whatever this situation is. Yeah, I, I, you know, and I'd rather, like, just benefit Tengen Italy from it, not have to, you know, I don't want to have to, like, actually own the sweatshop that makes my clothes. Yeah, that just seems, that's, that's morally indefensible. I just want to sit there and like, chocolate pickles as he makes my coffee. Look, I'm not gonna buy <laughs> shit from you, Nico, you cunt. Like, thieving cat bastard. Yeah, like the thing about Nico is he's a price gouging cunt. <laughs> he charges like 30% more than every other store. Cause they're like, you know. Fucking cat tax? What the fuck, like. Cause he, I mean, he, he sets up his shop in the middle of fucking nowhere so he can charge what he wants, I guess. Yeah. Just mad I didn't think of it earlier. <laughs> Ow, fucking flower bit me. I'm in Australia now. Yeah. That's the gimpy gimpy. Can you used to be able to charge your fucking weapons? Maybe I haven't unlocked it yet. Yeah, I don't think you have that yet. Fuck you, your fucking poe shroom thing. I do love in this game how the enemies just fall over on you when you whack them. Whack? Damn, kiss me. Whack it off on my tool shed. Fucking... The lady was screaming at a dog again next door. And the dog continues its general... Disobedience. To the point where one day I think I'm gonna be hearing the dog screaming at the lady. Like, just this weird <laughs> dog voice. Fucking Cheryl! Like... <laughs> Cheryl! Cheryl, get inside! But like, you know, just another Missy No. Which is... Fuck it makes... Because they just come out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, like I'll just be cooking, you know, making coffee in the morning. And it's Missy, no! And it's just, it's funny every fucking time. Again, Missy, no! Gah! And the dog go berserk. And then a sound I can only describe as what 
someone stepping on Hank Hill's testicles. Because oh. it was that blah, but really <laughs> high pitch. So, <laughs> yeah, like, it's like, blah, and like, what? Like, what's fucking happening? You know, because sometimes I, because I've seen Missy. Like, Missy goes into the yard. I've rubbed Missy's head. I, I'm on Missy's side, to be fucking honest. Mm. I'm not on fucking Cheryl's side. I don't I know if her name's is. Cheryl, but I'm nearly 100% sure. It's a, if you're a white Australian who's like 50, you're probably a fucking Cheryl. Cheryl! Shazza. Ah, uh, Sheila. Cheryl. And the, Cheryl's a bold, e- e- evolved form, Beryl. Oh, Beryl's, yeah. Yeah, you don't see Beryl much these days. I've met some Beryls. <laughs> it's like one of those grandma names. You just, they aren't around no more. It's the, the sad, we're in the sad twilight of the barrels. What's that little thing up the top there you walk past? You jump on it and it knocks you up to the top ledge. Oh, okay. I wish those were Cause real. Cause I kind of backseat played this. I didn't ever really sort of do it myself. There you go, boing. That's just like a baby duck you stood on to get a boosty. Like, can you jump down? Nope. That feels dumb. I don't, why would that be one way? That's like very inefficient. Now I need to equip the sword. Cause the spear can't cut down bushes. There's, there's not like the sword the thing you- Oh, you can charge a sword after you like fix after, its magic yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, you gotta take it to the little dwarfy blacksmith dude who like puts some semen on it and hammers it a bit. It's, it's pretty much the way I fix everything. Yeah. Mushroom gets whacked! Oh, it's a mush boom. Mush boom. Mush boom. <laughs> mush boon. Ed boon. Cheryl, no! Hey, hey! Hey! I whacked you. This is fantastic. This is great. Uh. It just reminds me of something fucking my housemate was going on about because my housemate has special needs and so he plays a lot of Dota. Um, and he was telling me, like, because he plays techies because he's super special needs. So he plays, you know, a special needs character in a special needs game. And the thing about techies is techies lays these mines that do a lot of damage. And so if he, if, 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 some, if the stars align, he's allowed to pull off the dumbest fucking things ever. One of which was all of his team had died. It was him versus three people, which basically means you're dead. And that's true, he was pretty much dead. But there were also a big pile of mines that he'd rather craftily laid around behind where the team was gonna go before he wandered into the fight. So the team kill him, his mines kill the team, and nobody was playing for about 30 seconds. <laughs> he gets a message just to all chat from the opposing team of just one guy just said oh god what was it nigga did me fat hard lordy just all lowercase yeah <laughs> and I it was fat with a ph cause I very like the first thing I, I zoned in on was was it fat with a ph it was fat with a fucking ph so I mean this black guy had to have been at least like 35 mm. cause fat's gone into the, you know, the, the, the distant archives of the 1990s. Absolutely. All right, 10 gold is... Now it's Fleek. I don't know what the fuck a Fleek is. Fleek? Yeah, I fucking... Oh, yeah, I've heard that on Fleek. Is it... Oh, is it, is it something you're on? Yeah. So it's like a well, fucking... My hair's on Fleek. You know? Huh. It's weird. I don't get the kids today. I think black people need to, like... They're gonna give up the fucking title of culture creators if they're gonna keep coming up with things like Fleek. That's a that's a low point. That's a low It's ebb. probably something that's someone's mumbled cool. at one point and the white whites have just lashed onto it. Yeah, actually, you're probably right. That's what we do. Yeah, we ruin just, everything. Just ruin everything. <laughs> just gonna take your black catchphrases and shit them up. Yep. Dynamite! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. Fuck it, that looks like- that just looks like Randy Marsh. It does! Cause that's what like, you know, that's what whites are like. We're like, like chicken. Like a neutral protein. It's kind of like very plain by itself, mm. but you can put it in every cuisine. Yes, you can. I you love know. chicken. Yeah. Like it's just, what does it taste like? Literally zero. But that means you can add more um, or less any spice to it. The, something that I really gets my tits about really old games is they've got a threshold where you cross and it yeah. just it yoinks you to the next <laughs> screen. It's like, oh, you wanted, to, you wanted to go down here. It's like, no, I really didn't. Do you have any treasure I can steal, people? <laughs> I want to shake your treasure chest. It's funny that they have the ah, little, like... I'm possible. I'm in my under session about my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love that voice so much. Like... Valley Girls.
So, a friend of mine posted something. So we have the Office of Film and Literature Classification, which is a big, sen largely censorious mob of knobs. Um, so, like, this document sets out words which, when used on covers or posters, are considered offensive and unsuitable for an unrestricted classification under the OFLC guidelines, printed matter dated July 1992. Okay. The list isn't exhaustive or comprehensive, so there's no real point to it. And because a word is not included does not necessarily mean that such a word is acceptable. Sexually suggestive combinations of words which do not appear on this list may be considered offensive. It should be borne in mind, Aaron, that context can render even an innocuous word offensive. Okay. Uh, the following words and their derivatives are not acceptable. Ass. Blowjob. Beaver. Cunt. Cock. Cum. Spelt C-U-M. Yes, so, of course. You know, I just, you know, just, just to make sure. Well, you know, you could, we'll have a loop could spell it normally and then dick, fart, frig, which shouldn't be on there. No. Fuck, hooters, horny, hornbag, etc. <laughs> Jerk <laughs> off, lezo, muff, norks. Norks. That is vintage as shit. Holy shit. This one was new even to me. Nunga, which is an Aboriginal people from South Australia. So I'm not sure what it's doing on there. Okay. Um, Nympho, which I, again, it's not a piss, prick, pubes, pussy, root, damn it, <laughs> screw, shit, slut, smoo, with two O's. Tits, titties, separate. Those are separate. Okay. Let, like, because horny and hornbag were in the same et cetera, line, yeah. and etc. Like, really, it should be tits, titties, etc. Yeah. Turd, twat, wank. John. Okay. Guess what the chief censor's name is? I. John Dicky. Oh. Dicky's list of naughty words. How? Dicky. Dicky. I know! Like, that's below the list, too. Like, so really, Dicky, you know, we're allowed to he, say I think John Dicky. We should Dickey? censor his name. To yeah! Be no, that's not okay. We should change his name to John Pants Area. <laughs> oh. Fucking okay. John Dicky. Right, like, D I C K I E, too. Like, Dicky. Yeah. Like, that looks a little Dicky. I fucking... Fuck, imagine having that as a name. Dicky. Hello, Mr. Dicky. Imagine having that as a name that goes on a big list of naughty words you're not allowed to say. I'm pretty of sure. which Dick is one. Yeah. Dick, etc. So... It yeah. should be borne in mind, Aaron, that context can render even an innocuous word offensive. See? Then you're barring... Con then you're just barring whole concepts, you know? Like, why have a list of fucking words? Because I know that context can render innocuous words offensive. That's one of the things I fucking love about it. And that's that's exactly like, because my goal now would be to exactly, like rather than just saying dick, I'd just have John Dickey on there. John Dickey. Have a John Dickey good time. John Dickey. It's like fucking show so dumb. Show a Nikki. John Dickey. He. <laughs> John Dickey. Y'all want a big gay muscle bullet hell? I don't want this fucking... You gotta wait till he takes off again, which I think is a bit bullshit. He's a fucking cunt. Look at him. Don't. Okay, because you're wasting a hit there. You gotta wait till he's. He's a fucking cunt. Fucking. He's yeah, you just. Be. Look, I'm just. You know, that's. You pick. Uh, every time. Wait till he gets up. I'm trying to meaty him, Gabe. You can't. I don't. <laughs> stop it. His face kind of looks like Wilfred Brimley. Oh. He has a treasure chest. Did he? Yeah. Now you're poisoned, Aaron. I'm blue. Yeah. That's what happens when you get poisoned. Oh, no, treasure chest. I get a big fucking rock. See you, Tanonga. Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. It expanded somehow. I'll have you know.